up everyone I'm gonna be showing you how to stream your uh, videos and movies from your PC over to your PS4 with the new um, PS4 media player app that was released this week now before we start I have to stress this enough that in order to be able to play files over on your PS4 you have to have your videos have to be encoded with the proper codec otherwise it's not gonna work uh, just because it's an MP4 or an NKV or AVI, it doesn't mean that it's going to work. It has to be encoded with the proper codec. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, if it's not encoded with the proper codec, then you're going to have to convert that file um, with a converter, with some software to convert the file over so you use the proper codec. If you do want to do that, uh, this free any video converter app, this works perfectly fine. Um, just basically drag your file in here and up here uh, if you don't want to convert just select the PlayStation icon and select one of these here depending on if it's 40 uh, 480p 720 or 1080p these all work I've tested them because I had a file that was mp4 and the ps4 didn't wouldn't play it so I brought it in here and I converted it with both uh, the 720p and the 1080p and now the ps4 plays it just fine so it's definitely a, a, an encoding issue and that's just the limitation Sony's put on their player on the PS4 so there's nothing we can do there so for those that have large video files you know this might not be the best thing to do because if you don't have a powerful PC it's gonna take a while to you know convert those files over to the proper um, format so you know that's something you have to figure out if you want to do or not because it will take long depending on the speed of your machine and all that okay so that's one thing next thing is a lot of people have been asking me about um, you know uh, if the PS4 uh, can read files from a phone like a mobile device or it won't read it from their flash drive or hard drive first of all it won't recognize any mobile device that's because it had the PS4 only reads um, FAT32 or EX FAT so that means that whatever device you're using has to be formatted with that format otherwise it's not gonna read it or see any of your files now if you are gonna use a flash drive or an external drive and it is FAT32 or EXFAT uh, make sure you have a videos folder on the root of that device and then put your files in there um, if what I would recommend is using EXFAT because FAT32 has a file size limitation of 4 gigabytes so if the file is larger than 4 gigs uh, you're not you won't be able to even copy it on the device so if you use EXFAT put it on there uh, it will copy over just fine now here's where the file size limitation comes in from Sony is it says on their website specifically that some there is some file limitation um, so some files might play depending on the file size it doesn't say what t uh, what size exactly it just says you know uh, there is a file size limitation pretty much so if you have a large file I'm guessing maybe over four gigs it might not even play it um, I've had I've been able to play files that are under two gigs just fine so I haven't tried anything larger than that just ha haven't had the time to try that but I'm going to show you how to do it, how to stream the uh, your movie files from your PC over to your PS4. So this is what you're going to do. It's pretty easy, simple, and fast. On Windows 8, you're going to open up Control Panel. Uh, once you're in the Control Panel, uh, on the search box over here on the, right on the top right hand side, just type in uh, Media. And there's a Media Streaming options there. So if it's turned off, you'll get this. If it's turned on, then obviously you'll see the next window. So go ahead and turn on. And here, you're going to see an unknown device. Depending on how many devices you have on your network, you might have more than one. I only have the PS3, the PS4, so this is it right here. So you have to make sure that this check mark is checked for allow. Now, I'm not entirely sure on this, but I was reading on the... Um, uh, online on the support page for the PS3 and they said to change this to all network I don't know why so I just changed it it both it works with both for me but it might be different for you so do that 
and then uh, just hit OK, and that's pretty much it. You're done on the on the P on the PC side. Uh, what it's gonna do basically, um, if you go to customize, you're gonna see that it's sh sharing the music, pictures, recorded video folders on your PC. So whatever is on those folders, you'll be able to see it on the PS4. Um, and I have, let's see here, I'll show you. So on my video folder here, I have three files. They're all, th these three files here are the same file. And this is the original MP4 file that the PS4 wouldn't play. So then I converted it with that um, application I showed you earlier. I converted it to the 720p using the PS3 um, profile they had. And then I did it again 1080p. And both of these now play just fine on the PS4. Um, and, I'm, and if you let's see here, if I click on the media for, for the for the original file, you can see the format and the codec and all that information that this file was using. And you can see that on the one I converted that plays on the PS4, that one has different information. So if you compare these two files, obviously I you're gonna see the difference on why one plays and why the other one play doesn't play so if you go through all this you know I'm not too good with all this information but they're different they're not entire they're not the same as you can see here for the codec ID this is using MP42 and this one's using ISO M um, don't know if that means anything but this one and the other file that I converted the 1080p version are using the same information so there is this proves that there is um, if your files aren't aren't encoded with a proper codec um, they're not gonna play so just remember just because it's an mp4 and AVI and MKV doesn't mean that it's gonna work because it might have been if might have been encoded with a different codec um, so that's just something Sony did so they they have to fix that I don't know if they were built probably not so that's pretty much all you do setting it up on the PC. So I'm going to switch over to the PS4 and I'm going to show you how the files do work over the network. All right, be right back. All right, so we're back on the PS4 now. So here we go. We have the uh, media player app. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. Now, everything is all set up on the, P on the PC. Uh, just like I showed you, if you have that, then right away you should see your PC right there. Um, go ahead and click on that. And if you have videos, then you're gonna go to the videos folder. Then you do this. Then you go into. You can do all all videos or folders or whatever you want. It's the same thing. So let's go to the top one. And there's my three files, the ones that I showed you on the PC. So this is the original MP4 that I mentioned the PS4 wouldn't play, and I'll show you here now. So you cannot play the media so I converted the, that file over to the uh, 720p mp4 and 1080p m2ts um, using the uh, the proper codec um, so basically the application that um, converter um, I selected the PlayStation profile they have their preset and then just converted it and now the files <laughs> So you can see there, the files play just fine. Uh, sorry about that audio. Let me go ahead and mute this. Uh, let's see. All right. So there, the video. This is the exact file that this file here that won't play. And here's a, a the other one, the 1080p. And this one's this one's a .dot m2ts. This is not even an, an MP4 file. And you can see this one. There's definitely a PS4 just is picky. And if you don't have the proper ink, um, if your file is not encoded with the proper codec, it's not going to play. So just, I can't. I have to repeat that because a lot of people have been commenting and asking why it won't play, why it won't play, and it's your encoder. Um, it's just the way that file has been encoded. So if you're downloading movies or videos from, you know, whatever from the net, then you don't know how they converted that file, how they encoded that. So 
that's that's a thing. Um, I, this is kind of a pain because it doesn't play everything, and I know it sucks. Now, if you don't have any other player and this is all you have, then it's better than nothing. There are other players that would play anything. Uh, I would recommend you, um, if you have money to spare and burn, um, buy the Western Digital Media Player Live Hub. That player will play any file you throw at it. You don't have to convert anything. I've been using that uh, player for about four years now. Um, and it has played every single video file that I've put on there. I have two terabytes worth of movies on there, and it plays every single one of them. It, plays, it even plays uh, subtitles and uh, dual audio and everything. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's the Western Digital Media Light Hub. Now for this, this is pretty much it. Um, I think somebody asked about um, if this supported uh, subtitles and it does support um, SRT sub subtitles so if you do have it all you have to do basically is put the SRT on the same video folder and they have to be named exactly the same so like uh, for example this one if it if the video file is a Minecraft original mp4 if that's the name of the file then your SRT has to be the same Minecraft original um, dot SRT and this one's going to be Minecraft original .mp4. So it has to have the same file name. Obviously, the uh, the MP4 and SRT don't have to be the same because they're two different file types. But the f the file type the file name has to be the same. And that's all you do. And then you won't see the SRT file on the PS4 here. It's not going to be visible. But as soon as you start playing the file. Um, All right, so that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, um, hopefully, this helps you guys out a little bit. Um, hopefully, I'll, I explain things um, enough where you can understand how to do this. If you're still having issues or you have any questions, just leave me a comment below and let me know. I'll try to answer the comments as best as I can and help out as much as I can. Um, so, hope this helps helps you guys out. Later.